morning class time to get into today's topic so today's topic and now not to suck at teaching is a closing closing of the arguments closing of the class time so for closing how do you uh, how do you close out your class how what's what do you do at the end of the period um, for me it's for me it's a weird thing because closing for me is like ongoing uh, all right get all your stuff cleaned up clean down the tables clean down the chairs uh, like if we're doing clay uh, make sure all clay products are put away you've wrapped them up everything is kind of set up for next class uh, for but however for most classes you're gonna close out your class with either a uh, ticket out the door or some sort of exit strategy where it's a it's a group discussion closing of the um, topic that you did the day reaffirming of the stuff that you learned which i do i do that one at least where uh all right so this is what we accomplished today this is what we have to accomplish tomorrow so we can be on target for our goal so that your your the the learning is not over at the end of the class period the learning is then extended to for the students to be continually thinking about what they need to do next for it and that that is one thing i i do i do do and i do think it's easy for an art teacher however for uh, most people, you need to close out your class with a um, maybe an affirmation, something where the students are then having to apply the knowledge learned during that class period to the next class period. So they have that carryover, so they have that learning process going from one day to the next, uh, either figuratively or in uh, or physically, the way that you the way that you do stuff. So you might have a closing term where you're. Oh man, some people, some drivers, um, to where you have a have those those connections being fulfilled by the topic that you've discussed. So you, you never want to just all right, guys, that's it, out, bye. Uh, is never a, a good way to close out uh, close the class. It's just weird. All right, so today for me for class time, I am working on uh, ceramics. They have a slew of projects, um, which I'll, I'll try and put pictures in here now on from when I'm uh, when I'm talking about them. Um, let's see, uh, ceramics class. They're doing uh, they're in slabs, so they have the four slab projects, which is a lidded vessel, a card vessel, a vase, and a house all done in slabs however the uh the carve project a couple came up to me because you know we're we're it's fall um halloween's around the corner they're like hey can we do a pumpkin okay that's fine by me um and but however that does change the process for them instead of doing slabs they're going to do coils most likely uh but i'm i'm flexible on the way that they want to accomplish the project because as long as they are completing the task and and adding their own creative touches to it I'm, I'm not gonna hold them back. Look, go for it. Have fun. Um, let's see what else. Uh, okay, so one thing personally for me, then I've been a cord cutter for years. I don't think I've had cable TV for over five years now, um, and I am very happy in being a cord cutter. With that said, I am very late to watching certain television shows. Um, so I just started watching uh, this new show. It's on Netflix. They got 300 episodes. So if I want to binge watch for like a day or two, I'm not going to be uh, I'm not going to be sore on episodes. It's NCIS. Uh, it's only it's only uh, 2016, and I just started watching it. I have only two shows in. I think it's good. And one thing for me, and I, th I think this is a, a good. A good thing to do for most binge watcher people. Uh, if you have a series that's been on the air for years, you never start on the first episode. I started on. I usually rule of thumb start on episode five. Uh, it's usually when the ensemble, the cast, have figured out how to play their roles, and then you can watch from there and then keep on going. Um, the best example of this was when I started watching Parks and Rec like a year or so ago. Um, one of the best shows I have ever seen. However. I watched the first episode when when I, I was gonna watch it like two three years ago. Watched the first episode. It was so appallingly bad, and it wasn't bad because of the story or anything, but people's connection to each other was so rough. That that pilot episode is never um, is never a way to judge a series. You, you gotta give at least that that fifth episode so you have some people who know what they're doing. Um, Almost died back there. Ah! 
Uh, Jesus. All right, so, uh, but yeah, NCIS, I just started on the second episode in. Um, I like Mark Hammond, but I like Mark Hammond when he was on uh, Hormon. Hammond Hormon. I'll look it up. Um, I liked him when he was in summer school. The movie back in the 80s it was really cool. Uh, and I think some of my, uh, my school persona and thought process is slightly jaded because of uh, those school movies that I grew up on. Um, and the 80s and 90s were not, were not particularly reverent in, in school philosophy. Uh, summer school, back to school with Rodney Dangerfield, PCU with Jeremy Piven. Um, great movies, but uh, completely uh, erroneous to how school actually is. So, I don't know, those are just fun things. So, uh, other than that, you know, working on another day. I will see you guys this afternoon, uh, or for me, or for you, it'll be a couple days from now. Um, but I will always see you guys next class. Later.